everyone, my name is Kristen Bowe and I have been asked to make a tutorial on Google Drive and also how to keep track of your communication with your Facebook friends and your customers and leads. So here it is. To create a Google Drive, you just go to drive.google.com. If you don't already have a Google account, it would prompt you to make one. I do, so I am going to sign in. Google Drive gives you an insane amount of free space. As you can see, I have a lot of folders, and each folder has a lot of files in there. I've only used 20%. It says right here you get 15 gigabytes for free. That's crazy, and I love that I can have the Google Drive apps on my phone so that even if I'm in the car, I have access to them and I can still keep up with my customers and my friends and post to challenge groups and all that sort of good stuff. You can go right here to create a new file, upload a, a file from your um, computer. Google Docs, which is like Word, and Google Sheets, which is like Excel, are almost exclusively what I use. And I've created a little dummy file over here to show you guys a little bit what I do to um, deal with all the people that I message and keep everything organized and on track. Okay, I have this first column here and I have the name, contact date, etc. But first I want to auto size it. So you make sure you select the whole sheet there. Go right in between two columns, double click. Everything's auto sized, which is awesome. Another feature that I love is I'm going to freeze this top row. Let me format. Let me see where it is. Freeze. It's under view. View, freeze, one row. That little line it created under there. Now, no matter, I'm scrolling down, no matter how many hundreds of people I have on this list, I'm always going to be able to view the top row, which is what I need to know. This is really helpful because I have over, I think, 300 names in my database right now that I've messaged over a period of almost a year and it's really nice to have that top row available. So like I said, I put someone's name in there, the date of first contact and the date of my most recent follow-up with them so that I can tell how long have I been forming with this person, how long um, has our message been going on. Any comments or needs about their family or maybe work situation or their likes or dislikes, I put in there so that I don't have to scroll up through my message history to find the most pertinent information. Any program or, um, you know, walking, Weight Watchers, whatever, anything they're currently trying, and then whether or not they're receptive to Shakeology or a particular program. I do have in here if they end up ordering and when they arrive, it arrived and shipped. And I do put a note in there if they're a coach prospect. If I'm always looking to add new members to my team. So I have that in there. I have this one named Facebook Notes. I also, you can easily duplicate your sheets so that the top remains the same. I have one called No Response which is aptly named. If I message someone one or two times, they never respond. I'm not going to bug them. I'll just move them to the no response tab, maybe try again in a few months, or just re-engage through their Facebook profile and timeline and see if I can build up a relationship that way the before the next time I invite them. I'll duplicate that again. I also have a flat out no list. These are the people that respond to my invitation and then they say no thanks, I'm not interested. I'll ask them, is it a timing issue? Do you want me to, I run a, a challenge group every month, maybe I'll check in next month? Or is this, is fitness not your thing? Do you not want to be approached by me? I don't want to burn any bridges and if they're really not into buying anything or trying something out, I'll move them to that no list so that they don't get upset with me. Um, I'm a people pleaser, and if they don't want it, they don't want my opportunity. The opportunity I'm sharing, I'm not going to bother them with it. Then they can always reach out back to me. And several people have said that. Said I'm not interested right now, but I do know you're a Beachbody coach. If I need help, I'll contact you, and that's fine. 
Um, I also have another one that I once remove from my Facebook notes. They end up ordering, they become customers, I move them over to here. So then that becomes a full database of all the people that have become my customers and different notes about them. This sheet too, I have copied and pasted the first row already from a different spreadsheet of mine. I will highlight the whole thing. Let's see, auto size the first, or all the columns. Go to view, freeze, one row. So that top row again is frozen. This is the format I use to keep track of my leads, those free customers from Beachbody. They're so awesome to give to us. A couple of mine have turned into just um, coaches or customers or just plain old leads. I copy and paste the name, email, phone, program, all of that sort of order information from Beachbody, my online office, into the spreadsheet. So let's say they made an order today, the 21st of May, and I log on and I see I have a new customer. That actually happened to me. So I send them an email today and I also texted them today. Those things are really easy for me to do back to back. Calling is not my forte, so I try to, to call um, maybe once a month with my leads if I don't have an ongoing daily thing with them, if they're not in a challenge group. I just kind of reach out to them and say, I'm here if you need me, or how's your summer going, that sort of thing. So that's the initial contact date and then most recent follow-up so that I can see how long has it been that I've been um, chatting with them. I have all sorts of different rows on here, or columns I mean, for tracking the, how their weeks are going, if they've continued their HD shipments of Shakeology into a few months, ongoing notes, and if they are a coach prospect. One of my recent coaches actually started out as a free lead. I did not receive a commission on their purchase, but I emailed her right away. We became friends, actually, and she signed up as a coach under me, and she is rocking. Another thing that I want to mention is by calling or texting or emailing as soon as possible after they place their order, nine times out of ten, I get a response back, a positive response. Um, they really appreciate knowing that someone is there for them to keep them accountable and to help them out. I had this happen with a customer, or a lead I should say. Her husband's free coach never reached out, but since I reached out to the wife, the, you know, the day I noticed she was in my account, he switched to be under me. He really liked that I was available and eager to help them, so both of them are my customers now. I'm hoping they sign up as coaches too, but we'll see. So anyway, these are the different sheets I use. Let's see, let's rename this one. Lead Contact Information. So this is the giant contact database that I have to keep track of all of my Facebook notes, my no response, my no list, my customers, and my leads. I have hundreds and hundreds, not kidding, um, lines of data on mine. And I'll show you another little nifty thing. I'll type in some people's names. Um, if I go on Facebook and I am searching through my friends list, I haven't talked to Sarah in a while. I'm going to message her. First, I head over to this database, hit Control F, and the Find menu will come up. I will type in Sarah's name, and it shows there's one Sarah. So I make sure I don't just kind of cold message someone that I've actually invited previously and forgotten about. So then I can look at when the last time I messaged them was. Oh, I totally forgot. Sarah lost her job recently. I should probably message her about that, see if she's found a new one, and it would be pretty tactless to invite her to a challenge group if I knew she just lost her job. So that's how the find function works really well, and keeping all updated notes helps you keep track when you have all these conversations going on. You can hit escape, and you're out of the find menu. So that is my contact database. I'll give you a little bit more information about 
my Google Drive in another video. So go ahead and stay tuned for that. If you like this video, if you want to see more of them, go ahead and like, comment, share, subscribe. And um, you can find me on Facebook. My name is Kristen Bow. If you want to join my team, go ahead and go to bit.ly slash kboecoach. Thanks, guys, and I'll talk to you soon.